Hello. We uh, keep, I mean, I keep uh, receiving letters from all of you guys. And thank you, thank you for writing in. And uh, we get different kinds of requests. Now, one very interesting request that I got uh, a couple of weeks back, and uh, I must confess it took me some time to address this request, is that this gentleman has, uh, I mean, he says that he has a budget of a thousand rupees. And within that thousand rupees, he wants to buy a hooded pen, a pen with a hooded nib. Now, uh, <clears throat> he has a certain, he was very specific and uh, I liked the way he had formed his questions and um, he wanted to know, is that he says that, look, I'm not a fountain pen collector, I'm not a rich guy. But I love fountain pens and I uh, watch your videos and watching your videos, uh, having watched your videos, my interest in fountain pens have gone up. Thank you. Thank you so much. You just made my day. But uh, I want to buy a pen, preferably a hooded nib because uh, I like the way hooded nibs look. This pen has to have a hooded nib. It has to be within a thousand rupees and uh, it has to look good. It has to look good, preferably a Japanese pen. Now, of these four points, I was able to address three of your points. Uh, I couldn't get a Japanese pen within that price range. But uh, I've, uh, what I did is I searched and searched and searched and looked uh, in a lot of places and I bought one from Amazon. So it's going to be easy for you guys also if you want to buy this pen. This is within a thousand bucks, certainly. It has a wooden nib and it looks pretty good. It's, it's pretty exciting to look at. What I'm, the pen that I chose and the pen that I settled on is a Lanvin Jinhao 51A with a steel uh, cap and a, you know, acrylic body. So this is a pretty nice pen, looks good. Now I haven't written with it. What we will do is, I've, I, I ordered it, it's arrived. We will unbox it. We will ink it up, we will write it, uh, write with it and we will show you the writing samples. But before we go on, a couple of things about uh, these pens, Jinhao pens uh, in general, Chinese pens in general and this particular pen in particular. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not very fond of Chinese pens. Chinese pens are good, they are very good. As a fountain pen lover, um, I like them, but when I say that I'm not very fond, it's because I'm Indian and I I would rather prefer an Indian pen, uh, something that's more expensive or something that's cheaper, that doesn't matter. But uh, between a Chinese pen and an Indian pen, my preference is with Indian pens. I'm saying that up front, so I'm kind of biased towards Indian pens. But that does not mean that the Chinese pens are bad. The Chinese pens are good. As a matter of fact, uh, some of them are way, way better than many of the expensive pens that I have uh, in terms of their writing pleasure, in terms of their build quality, in terms of uh, how they look. So all, uh, I mean, and, and, and they are these Chinese people, they are the Chinese pen manufacturers. They are going by leaps and bounds, you know, they are they're really doing well. So, <clears throat> this is also a good pen, but a couple of things uh, about this pen I wanted to tell you before we go and show you the actual writing samples. Number one, the cap of this particular pen is on the heavier side. So, people who uh, are used to posting their caps and writing, um, I feel, uh, I mean, I haven't weighed it uh, in a scale or anything, 
but my personal feeling is that the cap weighs uh, as much as the pen so uh, that if you uh, post the pen the bottom will become very heavy so when it becomes heavy some people love it some people don't like it i i i don't like posting my caps this is nothing uh, this has got nothing to do with this pen this is in general i don't like posting my caps but there are people who like posting their caps who like uh, posting and then writing because of the weight that uh, the posted cap gives on the pen and they feel that uh, and they rightly so they feel that the flow of ink is better if you uh if the bot uh, if the weight is distributed towards the bottom that's number 1 number 2 and i'm not an expert in gin how pens i'm telling you again and again i ask this from someone who uh is a freak a gin uh, a gin how and chinese pen freak he told me he pointed out a very interesting thing and i wanted to share with you uh I don't know for certain I I will certainly check it out but this is what he told me he said jinhao pens come in only certain types of nibs there are three or four varieties of nibs and most of the pens are uh fitted with these nibs any one of these nibs as a matter of fact these uh, he said that this 51a and there are other models other parallel models which have the same nib so the price difference between different jinhao pens uh, of a particular character or of a particular standard is because of the look and the material and the design of the pen the nib is the same so please bear it in mind when you are buying because some uh, of these pens are twice the price of some other pens so if money is the if the cost of the pen is a factor and if you are not uh, very enamored with the look of the pen uh, because they feel kind of more or less the same the qual- build quality is more or less the same and uh, so please consider this fact because the nibs are the same and uh, the third thing that i wanted to say is that it comes with a you know a standard jinhao international converter it uh, we will uh, do the writing sample but the pen looks good it's taken uh, me about uh, 15 days for this pen to arrive uh, to me since i ordered it in amazon but uh, another thing about chinese pens is that uh, you know over a period of time you would have noticed and i have talked about this in past videos is that because of the exchange rate be- uh, between the indian rupee and the dollar chinese pens are becoming more and more expensive so keep that in mind and uh, i mean the way things are going it looks that they will become even more expensive in the future but uh, and uh, not many of the chinese websites from where we used to buy pens earlier are working now because there some of these websites are saying that we don't ship to india blah 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 but there are people who import chinese pens and uh, th- these are widely available another thing that i wanted to say is this pen is kind of nostalgic to me because when we were in school you know i'm talking about uh, 83 84 85 around that uh, time we first came across the wing sung and hero and white feather pens we didn't know about jinhao then uh, or about pen bbs or uh, all these things but wing sung and white feather were extremely popular and this pen kind of you know takes me back in time because this pen feels like a pen from the past it looks good it feels uh, well in the hand and uh, it's it's kind of nostalgic so i i won't take any more of your time i think we should now go in for the actual show of the pen so this is a lanvin 
जिनहाउ ए फिफ्टी वन पेन दिस इज द पेन एज यू कैन सी इट हैज गॉट जिन हाउ रिटन हियर ब्यूटिफुल पेन ब्यूटिफुल मार्बल्ड यू नो बैरल एंड स्टिल द निब स्टिल कैप हुडेड निब एज वॉज डिजायर्ड एंड इट कम्स विथ अ standard jinhao converter and international converter so this is the pen we will do show you the writing samples beautiful it's got jinhao written here and it's got the logo here of jinhao so we'll do the writing uh, this incidentally is a Iro Shizuku Konpeki pen, uh, Konpeki ink, and uh, this is this is the ink. As you can see, I love this color, and uh, the bottle is too good. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll show you a writing sample. But before that, let us ink up the. pen it is a pretty nice ink capacity i should say let's see how it writes oh wow writes damn well Right, up strokes, down strokes, everything is fine and pretty dry, as you can see. What else do I write? This is. Jin Hao. Nice pen.
writes well. This is the pen. As you can see, uh, let's hope uh, you can see this. I don't know how the video is going. This is the pen for you. And uh, I'll open it up also. This is the pen. And this is how it writes. Nice cute pen.